I went um, to where Dan was doing the sessions and, and we had this session that blew my whole world apart. I, I can't, I know people say that and you don't even, I, the, the amount of energy that went through my body and the amount of energy that I could perceive and the amount of energy that, <laughs> that suddenly was part of my world, there's no, there's no description of that. I, after the session, I opened my eyes and I looked at him and I would say I was a completely different person. And I know that, you know, that sounds like a little airy-fairy. And when I walked out of that house where we were doing the sessions, um, I took a bus and I went the wrong way. Like, this is a city I live in. Like, I, I've lived there for probably 20 years. And I took the bus the wrong way. And I went two hours the wrong way. And this bus was supposed to take half an hour. And, I'm, and I didn't even, like, I noticed, um, wow, I'm like in a completely different city now. I, I, it was, so I had to take it back. And I just realized every point where I had tied my reality into, like every point where I had decided this is like how I keep everything in place had been taken away. It's kind of like Gulliver's Travels, that book, you know, where, where somebody is tied down by these tiny little threads. And those had been there my whole life, all these tiny little threads, like this is how much, this is how big you can get, this is how wild you can get, or this is how deep you can get, and this is who you can be, basically, was all those threads. They told me who I could be, and they were gone. I must say, you know, some of them come back and then you have to look at them again, but that session changed everything. And I knew, I knew that there was something more than I had ever known before. I knew after that session that the world is not just what I can read and write and think with my brain. There's something there that, there's something there that's so much bigger that I, I can't describe it and I can't understand it cognitively. It's just, a whole different world that's available. When I was a kid, the only thing I was acknowledged for was that I was, um, well, at least kind of smart, you know? Not, my parents would never talk I'm like super smart, but you know, I was smart and I was acknowledged for my brain. I was acknowledged for things that came out of my brain, like writings or um, a way of, kind of explaining things, good at explaining things. So I made that really valuable. I made my brain my most valuable asset. And that's when I walked out in the world, when I became an adult and started to create a career, that's what I used. I used my brain. And this part of me was really just there to move me forward in a room or, you know, take me on an airplane, whatever. The body wasn't really included. It, it doesn't mean I didn't enjoy my body. I did. And it wasn't, it was separated from the, my most valuable part, my brain, you know. When energy started to come into my life, I had to reevaluate everything. Because the, the brain is, it, it's one part of who you be, but really the energy doesn't exclude the rest of your body. It's, it's everywhere. It, it is really in your whole body. And that's how um, today, all the clues I get, you know, all the all the different energetic clues, they're not all here. They come from my whole body. My body tells me what's going on as much as my head does. So it it changed the whole way I could receive information. It changed the whole way what I thought was valuable about me. I something completely different became valuable about me. Me, probably, <laughs> instead of just my brain. And I I was given this different language that is energy. I was given a different language of, of interpreting the world with that's energy. So that, that change from being a brain on legs to becoming an energetic being that, you know, is present in the world is probably one of the biggest changes ever. And, and I can't even imagine today just being the brain. It would be extremely boring.